All right, this is your brother Aisha Yara coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakai Padash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, You Northern Tribes Need to Repent. All right? You Northern Tribes Need to Repent. That's speaking to you Latinos and Native Americans, all right? And uh, I'm not getting to this lesson to, you know, one side anybody or anything like that. Because we all know at the end of the day, all tribes are under the curses, all right? But we're seeing the majority of uh, the Southern Kingdom wake up first. And it's supposed to be like that, all right? But now that the truth has definitely reached the four corners of the earth, the northern tribes, you Latinos and Native Americans, uh, need to repent, man. And the reason why I want to get into this is because I came across an article a few weeks ago, and within the article, there were five Issacharite men who pretty much was looking for a job down in Mexico. And they ran into this group who said they can help them uh, find a job. They thought that the group was gonna help them find a job, but on the low, it was the Mexican cartel. And they end up getting kidnapped, all right? And um, the next thing you know, they're out in the random warehouse or whatever they were, and uh, they were beaten and they were tortured and all kind of other things and random pictures of them bleeding and, you know, very disturbing images came up about the story. And um, pretty much what happened was they were trying to uh, figure out why they got into the situation that, that they were in and pretty much the cartel just kidnapped them because they was like, look, they was looking for hitmen. And they was like, look, um, either you all get down with us and you all, you know, be hitmen for our crew or whatever the case may be, or they were gonna die. And so evidently they must have said no. And that was it, man. They ended up getting tortured, they ended up dying, and then uh, the the article just came across all kind of uh news sources all right and when i was reading it i was like damn man and i remember a brother shared that story a while ago and that's what he said for his caption he said you northern tribes need to repent because the most i ain't playing man all right like the scriptures say it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power here it is you're trying to be legit men legit people you just out looking for a job and you over here trusted for some reason this random group like I said, I got to get more into the uh, story so I can get the full detail. But they trusted this random group. Next thing you know, they ended up getting kidnapped and pretty much served an ultimatum. Just like, look, either you do this or you going to, you know, get out of lay down. Kind of like that state property shit with, with Benny Single and all of them. And it's like, look, either you down with us or you're going to be leaving the earth. And that's exactly what the Mosai allowed to happen. All right. The Mosai allowed the cartel to get those dudes and put them to death. And this is gonna keep happening more and more again, not just with the, you know, the cartel, but the most High is gonna put a lot of you Northern um, tribes into situations where you're not gonna make it out alive, all right? This is why we keep preaching the word to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because the Northern tribes, whether you all wanna believe it or not, you all are Israelites, okay? I remember the, um, Ephraim, my brother from the GMS Miami camp, <laughs> I remember a while ago, he was like, man, he was like, come on, y'all, y'all need to get with this. He was like, the Northern tribes, there's way more of us than the Southern Kingdom. <laughs> he was like, where y'all at? Where y'all at? All right, he, he was like, it should be a whole lot of Latino and Native American camps out here. Eventually, of course, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's gonna happen we all know we're coming into the last hour and the scripture speaking about within the last hour there's going to be a great awakening of uh israelites because they're going to see the prophecies come to pass and they're going to believe the preachers and the teachers that the most High sent all right so eventually we are going to see the northern tribes repent but hey man the warning is out here right now you know if you all come across these videos and you hear this word you got to take this seriously man because the Most High is not playing around. He's not gonna hold back prophecy just because 
you all don't want to believe in them. And the thing is, the majority of these northern tribes, they don't want to believe in a Lord because he's a so-called black man. <laughs> a lot of, you know, especially Issachar, you know, they, they down into that Jesus shit, man. All right. And then a lot of the northern tribes, a lot of the times they feel like they're actually close to being white. <laughs> you see the way that they act? You know, a lot of them are more accepted with Esau than uh, the southern kingdom. You know, when it comes to Esau, I, I work with a lot of Edomites, man, and they always say they love the northern uh, the northern kingdom women. You know, of course, they don't say that, but they always say, man, you know, they love the Mexicans. They love the Puerto Ricans. They love the um, Colombians, Brazil, so forth and so on. And, and, and the thing is, a lot of them actually get to the point where, like I said, they become um, accepted with them. And a lot of the Northern Kingdom actually get to the point where it's like, man, we up there with y'all. But within the spirit, y'all know that Esau doesn't like you all, man. He hates you all, point blank, period. All right? And like I said, the Most High is gonna keep delivering a lot of you all into these dangerous situations because you all refuse to acknowledge what the Lord really is, which is a so-called black man, all right? The scriptures speak about um, Ephraim being a cake not turned, all right? You gotta remember that uh, you all didn't have that skin complexion way back in the ancient days. All 12 tribes was dark skinned at one point, all right? Like I said in my last video, or not my last video, but a few videos ago, I was like, there's a such thing as Afro-Mexicans. You got Mexicans that's dark skinned, looking like so-called Negroes, okay? The thing is, you know, a lot of you all have that uh, that hair or whatever. It's because you've been taken down by the enemy. And the enemy, um, you know, definitely took our women and then vice versa, okay? But the thing is, within the spirit, we can tell that you all are our brothers and sisters. I'm over here literally uh, last night <laughs> watching Minister Society and, uh, you know, the scene where... Um, Damn, what's what's the dude name? I for, I forget that quick, but you know they got uh, the police took him and then they uh, dropped him off in the Issachar neighborhood and the police thought that the um, Issachar rights was going you know mess them up, but they ended up you know taking them to the hospital afterwards. You could just see the way that they talk, the way they move, the swag that they have, the way that they present themselves. A lot of you all, if you don't acknowledge that. Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites. You going off, man. Point blank, period. You going off. They act just like us, man, but they just have a different vibe. They just have a different vibe. You know, Lord willing, I have to go into more lessons, get into some history, and, um, <clears throat> so like you, getting into the curses as well, man, because they are under the curses. A lot of you all like to say, Oh man, they got their own countries and this and that. But who owns the countries? Man, these northern tribes are living very poor, man. Very poor. They're being oppressed every single day, man. When the riots was going down two years ago, that shit was going down, man. They had the tanks, police officers, everybody just lighting up the streets, man. They over here struggling just as bad as we are. And the thing is, like the scriptures say, only the Most High is going to reveal his, his secrets to his servants, the prophets. You got literally, you got northern tribes out here teaching the truth. All right? You got northern tribes out here teaching the truth. So how can they understand this Bible if they're not part of the people? Because they are our people, man. All right? So this is why we keep pushing to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you are our people and you need to repent. You gotta acknowledge the Lord for who he really is. You gotta stop trusting Esau. <laughs> like it says in uh, Sarai 12 and 10, don't trust your enemy. Stop trusting in this system. All right, stop having that spirit of mirth because the Northern tribes, man, they definitely have the spirit of mirth, man. The scriptures speak about them being silly. <laughs> All right. When you look at a lot of the parties and everything they have, man, they, they go in. Why? Because they're the salt of the earth. That's why. So at the end of the day, you know the tribes need to repent because, like I said, the Most High is going to allow 
you northern tribes to get in dangerous situations like that a lot more often, man. And then, of, of course, the cartel, um, you know, the most high is going to get them as well. All right? Because they being wicked. And ain't no getting away from, you know, the judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot. Because at the end of the day, those are people too, but they going off. They living in sin, man. All right? And this is why the most high is going to shut down the whole earth. So, like I said, I'm going to keep it short. I just wanted to bring that out because that story, you know, it's sad. But we understand that is the judgment from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So repent, Northern tribes, repent. Speaking to you Latinos and Native Americans, repent, man. The Lord is on his way, the true Lord. All right? So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say, call Halayim Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing his word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Ratazan, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasharala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.